Hi, my name is Melissa Daniels and I am obsessed with vision therapy. I've been doing it for the last four years to help fix my strabismus, which means my eyes aren't pointing in the exact same direction. And it has been amazing. Now, I've been working with a vision therapy office where I go in for weekly appointments and they give me home exercises to try at home. And one of my favorite things is to learn new techniques and ideas in the office and then come home and try to make them even better. I am always looking to make adjustments that are gonna make it work better for me with my unique brain. And I think that is such a powerful way to do vision therapy. Of course, people might try to take this and then figure out how to do their own vision therapy. And I don't recommend that. I always would recommend doing in office vision therapy. But that doesn't mean that you can't experiment and try to make what you're doing at home even more effective. And that's what this whole video series is all about. So today I am going to teach you how to make your own exercise PDFs. Now you may have seen some of the ones that I have made. I have some different stereo exercises and anti-suppression. I have some of this in my course, Mastering Peripheral as well that you can buy. And they're fantastic. I love them. They're super great. You can get them at learn.strabismussolutions.com. I highly recommend, obviously. But if you wanna make your own, I'm gonna teach you how in this video. So check out the ones that I've made. Maybe they can give you some inspiration, but then I want you to take what you learn and I want you to try to create your own that work just right for you because every brain is a little different. I'm going to take you over to Canva. So when we're talking about different types of PDF exercises, there's a lot of different directions that you can go. One of the directions is something called simultaneous perception. So in order to do this, you might create, have a star and an arrow. How about let's just be really exciting. And these exercises are designed to be worn done with red and blue glasses. So let me grab a pair and kind of show you. I, I have some for sale on my website if you have a hard time finding them, but if you're in vision therapy, which you should be if you're doing these exercises, you should just get them from your optometrist because they're gonna be even better than the ones that I make. Um, so the idea is with these glasses that you should be able to see one item with one eye and one item with the other eye. And so you have to make them the right colors. So we go over here to the color and I save them onto my palette. So I already know that these are the colors that work well with my glasses. I'll put the exact colors in the description so that you can know. So if you're using the black background, you're gonna use a dark red and a dark blue. And what happens when you wear these glasses is that one eye can see the arrow, one eye can see the star. And if you're using both your eyes at the same time, you should be able to see both of them. They should be lined up vertically and all of that, right? So. You've probably done these types of exercises in vision therapy. So this is where we're getting simultaneous perception, right? We're getting both eyes are perceiving at the same time. Another type of exercise that you can make in Canva or in, on a PDF is where you're getting fusion or stereo. So what you can do here is if you take something like a simple circle, okay, and for this, I like it to be hollow. So I'm gonna give it a border. I'm gonna choose that same color. Ooh, now we can get the color number. So the red is 920100. And then we'll make the hollow inside hollow. And then you just copy and paste and make a second one of those and make it this blue color, which is 0000AF. What you do is you take these and if you are to wear glasses, you can always check. So the blue, eye, or sorry, the eye with blue can see the blue circle, the eye with red can see the red circle. So I'm wearing blue on this eye. If the blue circle's over here and the red circle's over here, it's gonna look like it's going further away, right? Those images are like splitting and it's going further away. If they're crossing, then my eyes are gonna be crossed to see. And so you can move these circles back and forth on each other and it'll change how far in or out of the screen you're going to see it. So if I have them really close together like this, it's gonna be floating just barely behind the screen. If I separate them like this, eh, it might go double. If 
you have a really insane vision, you might be able to keep that together and it will be really, really far behind the screen. If I switch and put this blue one over here on the left, we're gonna get it, the, the, the circle looks like it's coming and floating out. So we're getting this illusion of this floating ring, right? So you've done these types of exercises in vision therapy, right? But I like to do this and then I like to start experimenting. I like to experiment with, you know, maybe adding, okay, that's a little big, adding something like this to the center of the circle and wearing the glasses and saying, okay, can I see the depth better now? Um, is that, is it more clear now? Am I able to, to see the float a little bit better? There's, there's just a lot that you can do. Um, you can do different shapes. You can do different thicknesses of the lines. You can do different sizes. You can do different ones inside of each other. So there's so much that you can do to experiment with this and see how does it change how you perceive depth? Can you make it easier to see the depth? Can you make it more difficult to see the depth? What changes can you make? As you learn about this, you're gonna be so much better off when you go into the office. Now, I'm gonna say this, like, I guess I feel like it's obvious, but I just wanna be really clear. You should definitely be checking with your optometrist or vision therapist before you start experimenting on this, right? I definitely was like, I think I could make an exercise like that. I'm gonna try it. And he's like, okay, go for it. And we were already doing these types of exercises as part of my therapy. And so I was just adding on to what we were already working on. I wasn't like trying to reinvent the wheel. So make sure that you're on the same page as your optometrist or vision therapist, because you don't wanna like start into something that's gonna give you double vision or something like that. So be cautious. I'm not saying like everyone go out and make your own exercises, but if you're in vision therapy and you're doing vectorgrams, this is probably just fine. You might wanna stay clear from the anti-suppression ones just to be careful. I didn't mention it, but there are different options for colors. The ones that I've created, I did a white background and then you use yellow and blue icons that cancel with the glasses. You can do the black, the black background with red and blue. And you can also do like a gray background that's like with teal and purple that cancel. So there's a lot of different options and something that works for me not, might not work as well for you. I really prefer the white background. Some people really like the back, back, black background and feel like it cancels better. So it might depend on your screen. It might depend on your glasses. So you can play with all those settings. I will put the different um, types, like the, the actual R RGB values, I believe that's what it's called, for the colors that are gonna cancel well with glasses. But you still will probably have to play with it a little bit depending on your screen. Um, good luck. I hope you have a ton of fun with this. Have fun with it. Be safe and careful and make sure that you're checking with your optometrist and your vision therapist and making sure that they're on board and that you're not going to totally mess up their whole treatment plan. Don't do that. They're going to all hate me if you do that. But do have fun. Make vision therapy more fun and you will make so much more progress. I promise you that. So let me know how it goes in the comments and I will see you in the next video.